Welcome to our lecture online, and now here we have the next four basic theorems in probability. And uh, again, if we didn't use some examples to show that these theorems actually work or not, it sometimes would be very difficult to just look at it and go, oh yes, I can see that that makes sense. For example, I really couldn't look at this and go, oh yes, of course, that makes sense. So let's try it. Let's see if we can make some sense out of this. First of all, this is a new symbol we haven't seen yet. This is called the universe. This would be all the outcomes that are possible. And here we have the element A, which has some outcomes. And here we're saying if A, I should say not element, but event A, if event A union the universe equals the universe, what does that mean? Well, if all the outcomes in A also exist in the universe, then we're not adding any additional outcomes besides the ones that are already in the universe. So there, therefore, A union universe should therefore equal the universe and that makes sense now if that's untrue can we say that the intersection between a and the universe is equal to a well since all of the outcomes in a also belong to you and you has outcomes that are in a and a lot of other outcomes then if we take the intersection of that that means that only those that are common to both and therefore equal to the ones in A, because all the ones in A are also in you, in the universe, then we can say that A intersection universe equals A. And that makes sense. All right. So we can say that this one is correct. Theorem 12. All right. Here we probably need to use the examples. Here we have A union B, and then we see the not symbol. So not A union B. So whatever is not in A and B. Now, of course, we need to have the sample space. The sample space is all the numbers from 1 through 6, or I should say all the outcomes from 1 through 6 when you toss the die. And so they claim that this is equal to not A, intersection not B. Well, let's give it a try. So first of all, A union B is equal to what? Well, A union B is 1, 2, and 3, because it's everything that's common to A and B, and what's in A and what's in B whole shebang, so to speak. So 1, 2, and 3 is A union B. Not union A, not A union B means everything else, which is therefore 4, 5, and 6. So here we can say that this tells us that so we have the outcomes 4, 5, and 6. And that should equal question mark. So now we have not A. Well, not A is everything but what's in A, so it would be 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that's intersection, not B. So everything that's not in B, so that would be 1, 4, 5, and 6. So now we're looking for the intersection. What is common between these two? And you can see what's common in those two is 4, 5, and 6. So indeed, we can say that 4, 5, and 6 is equal to 4, 5, and 6. So here we've shown, by example, that this works. That's a good theorem. Next, A union B and then the not symbol. So, well, I shouldn't say union, that's intersection, sorry. So, not A intersection B. So, what's, intersection, what's A intersection B? Well, A intersection B is 2. Not 2 would be everything else, would be 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6, the whole rest of the sample space. So, here we can say that we take not A intersection B, that would be 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And so the question mark, is that equal to not A union not B? Well, let's try. So not A would be everything but what's in A, which is 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we take the union of not B, that would be everything but what's in B, it would be 1, 4, 5, and 6. And we're looking for the union of that, which means everything that's common in both. And so you see that 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6, that's on the right side, which is exactly what we have on the left side, so I can say that is correct. And so therefore, we can say 13 is correct. All right, and finally, the, the next one, A should be equal to A intersection B union A intersection not B. Wow, that's kind of amazing in a way, if that's indeed the case. So again, let's try it. We know that A is equal to this. So let's see if the right side is indeed equal to the set of outcomes 1 and 2. Okay, so we have A intersection B. What's common with A and B? That would be the outcome 2. So this would be equal to, that would be 2. And that's union A intersection with not B. Okay, well, not B would be 1, 4, 5, and 6. A is 1 and 2. 
So what is common between 1, 4, 5, and 6, and 1 and 2? Of course, the outcome 1. So this would be 2 union 1. And notice that if I combine that then, this is equal to 1 and 2. And indeed, that is equal to, well, looks like A. And therefore, it works. And that theorem is also a good theorem. So there are some additional theorems in probability.